Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I want to talk about whether or not it's safe to eat fish caught from the Pacific Ocean or not. And so, you know, I'll tell you first off that my first assumption is that yes, it is safe to eat fish from the Pacific Ocean, especially if you eat the smaller varieties that don't have mercury in them. And, um, uh, you know, the, the radiation concern is a concern, but because it's so far away, I don't believe that it's as big of a concern as a lot of people think that it is. And um, I've been watching some videos on YouTube today, and the first thing that strikes me with the videos of people telling you to stay away from the fish is that those people are extremists listen to their voices, listen to what they're saying and their attitudes, etc. And it's for what I've learned about people on the far left and people that are living a life of fear is that they're not living very logically. They're, they're, they're presenting their case based on their personal problems and emotions and not facts. And, um, you know, there is legitimacy, obviously. It's a nuclear problem. It's a nuclear big disaster, you know. But it's very far away, and the nuclear radiation is being di dispersed over a huge, huge area, the Pacific Ocean. Secondly, there are all kinds of things in our worlds that we're, world that we're exposed to a lot more directly and a lot more, uh, you know, in higher concentrations daily and auto accidents. I mean, the chances that you go out and get into an auto accident today, I mean, the danger of that is so significantly higher than eating fish every single day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the radiation that you get from going on an airplane trip or uh, a, going to the dentist or the hospital or other foods or the pesticides in the food, all kinds of stuff, the, the amount of chlorine that you're exposed to your, in your shower and or bath water every day is taking the life force out of you. You know, that's why I tell people, get yourself a shower filter, a Pelican shower filter. They're great. And it's something that you can actually do for your health. You know, you want to do something bad for your health? Completely stop eating fish and, and lose all that omega-3 fatty acids that you're getting that are so good for your mental health. And so, you know, I still consume salmon regularly. I even consume, uh, while I'm on the road, canned salmon because it's easy. And, you know, yes, there's metals in the can to worry about, you know. So, here's the bottom line. For me, I'm doing my best to get along, to be healthy, and to help other people to do the same in this world. That's the bottom line. There's no such thing as perfection. There are things to consider, no doubt, and to stay clear away from. But, you know, the, I'm going to put a link to, to this article here that I found in the description box that you can go to and you can listen to this little audio. Okay, so it looks like this. And there's a little audio right here for you to listen to. And it talks about the danger of the fish and whether or not it's significant or not. And they've done some tests on some fish. And, you know, it's just, in my opinion, not something to worry about. So go ahead and check it out for yourself. Look at all the videos. I invite you to look at all the videos and read the different articles and you'll see that I'm telling what I'm saying is that 
the people that are trying to throw up a red flag are fear mongers. <laughs> Activist fear mongers. And there's a place for those people in this world. God love them. God love them because they're doing their work and we need that. But I'm not going to freak out and I hope you don't either. Bye.